Only Long Houchen in their two teams, is capable of doing so, it was a secret technique he specifically learned for the team, the crisis on the rooftop had temporarily subsided, and he had to quickly return to command the team, because he clearly saw that, whether it was commander level number 21 or, soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad, everyone was fighting with a bloodthirsty fervor. The commander level number 21 demon hunting squad was slightly better, at least Wang Yuan Yuan hadn't yet. Used, the true power of her shield of giant god, and Shima Xian was restraining himself from going berserk, but those in the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad, including Li Sin, were all going all out. Brilliant light continuously erupted, crazily slaughtering the demons, by Xiaomao's eyes were bloodshot, chanting spell incantations one after another, thick thorns rapidly growing around her, and around her body, there were already a dozen or so, of those plants capable of spewing sharp thorns, there were also the sluggish pods, numbering seven or eight, her delicate face was already pale, yet even so, the incantations from her mouth didn't cease, without a doubt, she had overextended herself, pushing on like this would risk her life, Long Houchen leapt down from the carriage, with a swift movement, and arrived beside by Xiao Mo, he gently bumped his shoulder against her back. Instantly interrupting her incantation, What are you doing? Bai Xiao Mo turned around, angrily shouting at Long Houchen. Long Houchen retorted, Did you forget my instructions? Conserve your spiritual energy, with so many demons around, can you handle them all? Your own safety is our most fundamental requirement, get lost, what right do you have to control me, do you know? My parents died at the hands of these damn avian demons, go away, I don't need you to care for me. Smack, Long Houchen raised his hand, and slapped Bai Xiao Mo to the ground, idiot. Do you think your life belongs only to yourself, your life belongs to the team, your death isn't the only concern, do you want to drag your comrades down with you, from now on, don't cast any spells, or else I'll knock you out, Long Houchen's furious roar was unquestionable, and after leaving these words, he didn't hesitate for a moment, flashing to the forefront, he kicked Jian Yan, who was in the middle of a fierce fight, back three steps, while his left hand's holy sword swept. Horizontally, the spine of the sword striking Wang Yuan Yuan's shield with a loud clang, a deafening sound resounded. All of you, Titan formation, do you want to die? While saying this, Long Houchen's body suddenly erupted, with a strong golden halo, both hands swung the heavy sword, two beams of sword light, under the amplification of light elemental elf Ting, transformed into a holy sword slash, cleaving seven or eight frenzied demons into two, simultaneously, the blazing flames of the sun fire surged into the sky, pushing back the swooping avian demons in the sky, granting the members of the two demon hunting squads, a brief moment to catch their breath, the intense battle had only lasted for about ten minutes, but now that it had come to a halt, everyone realized they were panting heavily. Even though nobody was injured, the series of all-out clashes just now, had significantly depleted their internal and external spiritual energies, Long Houchen turned around, giving everyone a cold glance, from now on, anyone who disobeys my orders, will be immediately expelled from the demon hunting squad, clusters of bursting fireballs, each with a diameter of over half a meter, descended from the sky, landing in front of Long Houchen, and their violent explosions sent many. Incoming demons flying, the fireballs were emitted by Haoyue on the rooftop. And as Long Houchen turned back to face the demons, he had already stowed away blue rain, light lotus from his hand, and swapped it for the Holy Spirit shield, while the Holy Spirit shield's accompanying Holy Spirit barrier quietly activated, enveloping everyone in a shimmering white light, coupled with the effect of the gathering spirit halo, the members of the two demon hunting squads, over a dozen in total, all felt a sense of relief, Li Sin, Yi Jun, you're in charge of defending the Airspace, Linsen, when the enemy is numerous, respond to my signal and release the resist fire ring at full power, Jian Yan, stand by my side to face the enemy, Wang Yuan Yuan, Shima Xian. Protect both flanks of the entire team, Chai Er, Han Dao Si, you're responsible for maneuvering and picking off enemies, this, entire team, naturally refers to the entirety of the two demon hunting squads, at this moment, Long Houchen has truly taken on the task of commanding both teams, surprisingly, not a single person contested his orders. The members of the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad were the same, the formidable strength Long Houchen displayed on the rooftop, was seen by everyone, and the hunters of the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad were shocked to discover that Long Houchen was much stronger than they had imagined, especially when the 12 giant avian demons were annihilated. The impact was stronger than any words could convey, when Long Houchen leapt down from the carriage, and returned to the battle with a series of roars, even going so far as to lay hands on his own comrades, he managed to awaken the blood-soaked warriors, yes. It's not the time to compete in the number of enemies killed, survival is the top priority. At the beginning, the members of the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad, were somewhat reluctant to follow Long Houchen's orders, with so many demons in sight, each one could be considered a valuable kill, coupled with the personal vendettas almost everyone had against the demons, and the animosity from the fact that demons devour humans, it was natural for everyone to become reckless in battle. When Long Houchen descended from the sky, foregoing his strongest attacks, instead, Taking on the role of a guardian knight, using both the Holy Spirit shield and the gathering spirit halo, affecting every member of the team, the killing intent in their hearts rapidly subsided. 
Listening to Long Hao Chen's unquestionable roar, the group instinctively followed his instructions, boom, holy spirit shield sweeping, a strike that repelled, sending two frenzied demons flying, at this moment, Long Hao Chen even completely gave up attacking, whether it was the holy spirit shield or the holy spirit sword, all he did was defend, using his own strength, he repelled all the enemies in front of him. The battle before had greatly depleted the energy of his comrades. They needed time to recover their spiritual and physical strength, otherwise, how would they manage to break through later, therefore, at this moment, he could only, rely on his own power to buy his comrades time. Standing at the rear, she could clearly see, Long Hao Chen maintained a special kind of footwork, swift and efficient, and what's more, it was balanced, he appeared like a wall, covering a range of over 10 meters horizontally, wherever an enemy tried to charge, he would appear there, the golden light of divine obstruction continuously appeared on him, and only when that golden light reached its peak intensity, would he occasionally execute a light-cutting sword attack, harvesting the lives of some demons, as he moved and turned. The gathering spirit halo continued to envelop everyone, one could say, that at this moment, Long Hao Chen was fully embodying, the pinnacle of a guardian knight at the earth knight level, and just a moment ago, when he was on the carriage rooftop, he was still a formidable retribution knight, the role of a strong individual in a team may not be particularly crucial, but a powerful leader is the true heart and soul of the entire team, Long Hao Chen was completely showing his companions. How things should be done through his actions, the other twelve individuals were also outstanding members of the younger generation of the Temple Alliance, but at this moment, in their eyes. Long Hao Chen seemed to have reached a whole new level, even Chai Er was no exception, perhaps, with the reincarnation spirit furnace, Chai Er's attack power could still surpass that of Long Hao Chen, but, whether it was in terms of overall perspective or leadership ability, she admitted she couldn't compare to Long Hao Chen. This had nothing to do with her feelings for him, it was simply the most honest assessment, Chai Er suddenly thought, even if she and Long Hao Chen didn't share such an intimate relationship, if they were truly part of the same team, the final leader would still be him, his rate of growth is truly remarkable, on the rooftop of the carriage, Leng Xiao was also observing Long Hao Chen. The demise of the twelve large avian demons, had bought her ample time, as the ordinary avian demons swooped down from the sky, they posed no real threat to her, who exactly was that young man, since when did the merchant group have such an exceptional individual, could he truly only be at the fifth rank, moreover, what exactly is this three-headed demonic beast, why do I feel a sense of unease emanating from it? And it seems to be rooted in the suppression of bloodlines, no, this can't be possible. My bloodline is the most noble, even the strongest humans at the pinnacle, can't possibly surpass my bloodline, Yi sat silently on the rooftop, her gaze fixed on the hovering scroll in front of her, seemingly disconnected from everything around her, the rich purple color, was intensifying in a frenzy, and the purple moon in the sky became incredibly distinct, the melody she was chanting was becoming slower, but also more solemn, in the air, as if a trace of humidity was present. A result of the viscous magic elements condensing, the bright purple moon gradually shifted to black, causing the illuminated horizon to fade, a piercing, mournful howl resonated in the sky. Followed by, a bright golden lightning bolt descended from the sky, heading straight for Yue Leng Xiao was greatly surprised, she swiftly moved, positioning herself in front of Yue her staff in hand, a tremendously intense bloodlight transformed into a shield to block the golden light, a deafening roar echoed, golden serpent-like lightning scattered and flew, Leng Xiao's shield shattered under this impact. Even her body bore traces of golden electricity, her entire body trembled, her legs went weak, almost causing her to collapse on the rooftop, in the sky, a golden figure descended like a hurricane, astonishingly, it was also an avian demon, but it shone in a brilliant golden hue. And its spear was in the form of golden lightning, it stood at around two meters tall, with a pair of golden wings spanning the air, trailing two dazzling streaks of golden electricity, it dove down towards Leng Xiao, golden goblin, within the entire avian demon clan, there would be no more than three golden goblins, one of them serves as their chieftain, although the current golden goblin doesn't possess the power of the eighth rank, it stands at the pinnacle of the seventh rank. Surrounded by lightning, it's swift and fierce, exuding a tremendous sense of pressure. Roar, Leng Xiao suddenly looked up, emitting a mournful dragon's roar, a layer of powerful red light burst from her body in an instant, strangely enough, when the formidable golden goblin saw this red layer, its pouncing form abruptly stopped mid-air, its fierce eyes filled with uncertain surprise. Leng Xiao had changed, her fiery figure suddenly grew in size, and right after, black scales quickly emerged from beneath her skin, covering her entire body, an indescribable aura of immense strength radiated from her, it wasn't due to her strength, but rather a sensation emanating from her bloodline, lowly avian demon, how dare you attack me, you're tired of living, Leng Xiao shouted fiercely. Except for the golden goblin, the other avian demons diving down from the sky, no longer dared to launch attacks at her. The golden goblin's eyes flickered, and it suddenly spoke, letting out a sharp roar, despicable humans, daring to impersonate the dragon clan, go to your death, as it spoke, it accelerated its speed, charging directly at Leng Xiao, Leng Xiao knew, Yue Yi was right, since the three clans in the Nalik province dared to attack, they would have no further reservations, they didn't intend to leave anyone alive, regardless of their identity, at this moment, nothing would matter to them, sister you, you need to be faster, Leng Xiao silently called out in her heart. 
She exerted her legs, and rushed towards the oncoming golden goblin, it was clear to see that, Leng Xiao's entire body was covered in jet black scales, on her shoulders, knees, back, and arms, sharp thorns gleamed ominously, as she surged upward, casting a blood-red glow around her, astonishingly overpowering the golden goblin despite its superior strength. Just as Leng Xiao encountered trouble, Long Haochen below also faced a formidable adversary, a berserk demon covered in crimson. Scales has already charged in front of him, launching a frenzy of attacks. This demon stands at a towering three meters in height, its physique robust, resembling a small mountain, the spikes on its double arms extend over a meter and a half, launching terrifying penetrating attacks directly at Long Haochen, clang, clang, clang. Long Haochen blocks three strikes in a row and steps back three paces, each step leaving a deep trench on the ground, the terrifying force leaving three indentations on his Holy Spirit shield, even with the triple power of his divine obstruction ability, along with assistance from the light elemental elf and Hanyu skills, he can barely withstand it. Linsen acts decisively, refraining from using the resist flame ring. Casting a fire elemental shield onto Long Haochen, while Lucy's holy light shield descends as well, allowing Long Haochen to withstand the fourth strike of the crimson blooded demon without retreating once again. What moves others is that, facing such a formidable foe, Long Haochen releases the holy guiding spirit furnace without hesitation, a beam of white light, connecting him with the crimson blooded demon. Evidently, just like the descending golden goblin, this crimson blooded demon is the true commander of the demon army. The fact that it forces Long Haochen, who employs divine obstruction, to struggle so much, attests to the crimson blooded demon's power having reached the seventh rank. Luckily, it's only at the primary seventh rank, with spiritual energy of around 10,000, otherwise, Long Haochen would have a much harder time holding it off, the reason it's called the crimson blooded demon, isn't because its blood is red, accurately speaking, all demons, don't have red colored blood, when this crimson blooded demon attacks, its whole body emanates intense blood red light, and its pair of spike covered forelimbs turn blood red, hence its name, its attack. Power is incredibly piercing, even with the Holy Spirit shield's accompanying protective aura. It can't negate the damage it inflicts directly on the shield itself, Long Haochen feels a pang of heartache for his shield, but he has no choice right now, apart from him, the other twelve members of the demon hunting squad, can't directly withstand the seventh rank demon, he absolutely cannot retreat, he can only give his all to withstand it, confronting a formidable foe. Long Haochen's true strength emerges fully under pressure, from a skill perspective, he only used the holy. Light shield and divine obstruction abilities, however, the strength he demonstrates, far exceeds what these two skills alone can describe, his previously ethereal steps suddenly become solid and stable. Each step he takes, leaves a deep footprint on the ground, the crimson-blooded demon speed and strength are both superior to his, yet Long Haochen is resolutely blocking its path with divine obstruction, not letting it take a single step beyond, it can't even find a way around from the sides, in addition to the effect of the holy guiding spirit furnace, before it could overwhelm Long Haochen. This formidable seventh rank demon can't do anything against the others, the footwork long. Haochen employs is the Long Xingyu's lineage technique, which means, although he's currently playing the role of a guardian knight, he's actually using the footwork of a retribution knight. This footwork was created by Long Xingyu himself, and Long Haochen has modified it slightly over the years according to his own abilities, it's called the Nine Dragons Tread. Dot. The Nine Dragons Tread is actually composed of nine different footwork techniques, each suitable for different kinds of combat, for example, when Long Haochen faced a barrage of attacks from many enemies, he used the most agile and suitable for group combat, Illusory Dragon Tread from the Nine Dragons Tread set, but when facing a powerful adversary like now, He's using the most steady and solid, suppressive dragon tread. Dot. Do not underestimate this footwork. Good footwork is crucial in battle, not only enhancing one's own attacks and weakening the enemies, but also allowing the practitioner to control the tempo of the battle. If there was only the crimson blooded demon, then the other twelve could potentially surround it, while Long Haochen held it off directly. Maybe they could make this crimson blooded demon meet its end here. Unfortunately, they are now facing a vast horde of demons, and even though Long Haochen is holding off the crimson blooded demon, he is still restrained by it, and the regular berserk demons and avian demons need to be handled by the others themselves. Dian Yen is a shield warrior, and his shield is much larger than Long Haochen's holy spirit shield, however, at this moment, the difference between him and Long Haochen becomes completely evident, before the crimson blooded demon appeared, Long Haochen had already blocked off a lateral range of over 10 meters, in front of him from the oncoming enemies, but now, Dian Yen can only block. Those directly in front of him within a range of about 3 meters, you should know that, he is. Also a 5th rank warrior, blocking this 3 meter wide section is already pushing to the limit, and this defensive area clearly isn't enough to shield all the companions from attacks, on the side of commander level no. 21 demon hunting squad, Long Haochen goes to fend off the crimson blooded demon, Han Yu rushes up in the first instance, his heavy shield held horizontally, protecting the front line, after all, they are fighting with the carriage at their back, without worries from the rear, a twisted ripple spreads out from above Han Yu's head causing over ten berserk demons in front to be momentarily stunned. Han Yu sweeps his heavy sword with his right hand. 
His shining liquid spiritual power infused light slashing sword instantly slashing through the throats of these berserk demons, but they don't fall to the ground, still blocking the berserk demon warriors behind them. The evil eye hovers above Hanyu, its enormous eyeball rolling around chaotically, the skill it releases isn't very strong, just causing mental vibrations. Yet, it's quite effective against these simple-minded, strong-limbed berserk demons, this assistance helps Hanyu. Firmly hold the front line, in the previous situation within the two teams, only Han Yu consistently followed Long Haochen's orders without going all out, and he was also stationed in the rear. All along, due to Long Haochen's excellence and strength, coupled with different roles, Han Yu rarely had opportunities to directly face enemies, but now, as a guardian knight, his combat power is revealed, and on the other side, the members of the soldier level number 4 demon hunting squad realize how powerful Han Yu's strength actually is. Perhaps he might be slightly inferior to Long Haochen, but the difference won't be too significant. This is a fifth rank knight, they can't help but be puzzled, that such a powerful 5th rank knight hasn't made it into the top 60 of the demon hunting squad, instead, becoming a subordinate of Long Haochen, boom, Leng Xiao's body descends from the sky. Fiercely colliding with the roof of the carriage, but the carriage is indeed sturdy, and under such an impact, not even a scratch is made, just causing a tremor in the purple light on Yue's body on the other side, at this moment, it's clear that Yue has reached the most crucial moment, her body covered in a dense purple light is almost invisible, and that scroll filled with mysterious colors, is already nearly fully unfolded. It's about to succeed, indeed, Leng Xiao's strength is formidable. Even in the face of a sixth rank expert, she can contend with them due to her powerful bloodline abilities and integrated magical combat strength, unfortunately, she's up against a seventh rank expert, a peak seventh rank golden goblin with flying abilities, even though she can suppress her opponent's aura, the difference in strength is just too great, the golden goblin repels Leng Xiao, and doesn't pursue, raising its golden lightning spear in front of it, aiming it at Yue Yi and throwing it, Amidst the piercing screech, that golden lightning spear actually creates two golden cracks in the air as it's thrust, distorting the air completely, causing a deafening explosion akin to thunder. Even for the golden goblin, this is an all-out attack, seeing that Yue Yi is about to complete the activation of the scroll, as a peak 7th rank expert, the golden goblin, can naturally sense the dread of that scroll, otherwise, it wouldn't have personally appeared here, Leng Xiao must indeed be killed, but what's more important right now is disrupting Yue Yi's magic, as long as this strike succeeds. This battle will definitely end in a short time, Leng Xiao's face is already pale. Her body is currently numb from the Golden Goblin's attack, no matter what means she still has, it's already too late to rescue Yue Yi, a touch of despair appears in her eyes, which have turned blood red. Right at this extremely critical juncture, suddenly, a beam of white light shoots out from below, its target not the intercepting Golden Lightning, but instantly landing on the Golden Goblin, a bizarre scene unfolds, the incredibly mighty Golden Lightning Spear of the Golden Goblin, actually, in the instant before hitting Yue Yi, changes direction, almost brushing past the top of Yue's head, sweeping horizontally towards the lower side, the target it's aiming at is none other than Long Haochen, yes, just as Yue Yi is about to fall, Long Haochen takes action. He's already struggling to directly block the crimson-blooded demon, but in this moment, he still, without hesitation, sends the second pull of the Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace, directly toward the Golden Goblin. If anyone else possessed the same abilities as Long Haochen, they probably wouldn't choose to provoke trouble at this moment. A 7th rank Crimson Blooded Demon is already a massive threat, and now, how can they withstand the peak 7th rank Golden Goblin's strongest attack? This is practically suicidal behavior, but, Long Haochen chose to do it this way. It's not that he's seeking death, but it's about the bigger picture. The demonic forces are formidable, even if these two 7th rank beings don't appear in the current situation. Just the avian demons, crimson-blooded demons, and double-headed demon griffins, along with the magic eye sorcerer who has already breached the caravan's defenses completely, are enough to grind all these people to death here, the only chance of survival is with Yue Yi, therefore, no matter what, Long Haochen absolutely cannot let Yue Yi be killed by the golden goblin. Only when that forbidden spell level magic is truly completed, do they have a chance to survive by using it, therefore. No matter how much pressure Long Haochen must face, he must strive to secure this opportunity for his companions, a cluster of crimson light burst forth as the holy guiding spirit furnace connected with the golden goblin, erupting from within Long Haochen's body, and simultaneously, a massive purple radiance forcefully entered Long Haochen's body from behind, it was Haoyue. In an instant, Long Haochen's entire body's aura surged wildly, and his whole person entered a unique state, with the holy spirit shield in hand sweeping horizontally, accompanied by a tremendous roar. He unexpectedly used a charge to send the crimson-blooded demon flying out. Simultaneously, this also slightly increased the distance between him and the Golden Goblin's all-out attack, it was clear to see that, Long Haochen's entire body was enveloped in a layer of purple radiance, and a pair of wings, condensed from spiritual energy, instantly spread open from his back, on the body of the light elemental elf Yuting, dazzling golden flames were already burning, and the incantation stopped. She directly charged behind Long Haochen, her whole body pressed against his back, causing the flames on Long Haochen to surge to the peak, yes, Long Haochen was going all out, he had to secure this final chance for his companions, at the instant the Holy Spirit shield was activated to block the impact. 
It was abruptly switched to blue rain, light lotus. Immediately following, the dense energy formed from the combination of blue and gold light instantaneously transformed into a conical shape, almost meeting the golden goblin's full force attack at the tip of the sword, boom, a strange and eerie explosive sound rang out, Long Houchen's body trembled like chaff being shaken, then, blood spewed from his mouth and nose simultaneously, and his whole body tilted backward in an instant. Flipping and tumbling in the air, it was also at this moment that, a dazzling golden light illuminated everyone in Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad, including Long Houchen, with a bright golden rune appearing on each person's chest. Chai Er, Han Yu, Shima Xian, Wang Yuan Yuan, Chen Yin Er, Lin Sen, all six of them simultaneously let out a muffled groan, their bodies swaying, and the direction in which Long Houchen was thrown backward, was exactly where he had pushed back the crimson-blooded demon, and in the next moment of tumbling, the blue rain, light lotus in his hand was already released, it stabbed fiercely into the chest of the crimson-blooded demon. The power of this special longsword erupted instantly, rain-like and unstoppable, its radiant light burst forth, wildly stirring within the crimson-blooded demon's body, and dozens of streams of blood-red light burst forth from different parts of the crimson-blooded demon's body at the same time. This strike, was a strike Long Houchen had planned meticulously, it was his truly all-out effort. The purple figure was the fusion with Yue, combined with the full amplification from the Light elemental elf Yating, Long Houchen's cultivation had temporarily, been elevated to the level of a sixth-rank radiant knight, and not only that, in the instant just before the fusion with Yue, The red light shimmering on Long Houchen was him activating the sacrifice skill, the amplification from this skill was extremely powerful, but the drawbacks were equally significant, however, in this moment, Long Houchen had no other choice, he could only take a gamble, he was not only facing the deadly strike from the golden goblin, but also the frenzied counterattack from the crimson-blooded demon. If they couldn't deal with this seventh-rank formidable enemy, then who on their side could withstand his attack, should they let Chai Er withstand it, absolutely not, Long Houchen would never forget his promise to Chai Er, he was determined to protect her for a lifetime. How could he allow his dearest love to face such a crisis, thus, the choice of sacrifice was made, and at this final moment, it was truly a desperate gamble, the first strike of the light rain hibiscus thrust broke through the golden goblin's attack, and with the life sharing of the soul link, his companions shared the damage for Long Houchen with his cultivation raised to over 3,000 spiritual power, Long Houchen was no longer the same as before. And as his body was flipped and thrown by the massive and terrifying impact, the blue rain, light lotus burst forth with powerful force for the second time, a desperate gamble, coupled with the light rain hibiscus thrust, was fiercely thrust into the charging crimson-blooded demon. However, Long Houchen also received a desperate strike from the crimson-blooded demon, a sharp spike piercing into his right shoulder, viciously running through his body, the other six members of Commander. Level number 21 demon hunting squad groaned again, sharing the burden of Long Houchen's injuries, however, the pain of being pierced and bleeding was clearly impossible to share, Long Houchen didn't pause. Amidst the frenzied movements of the blue rain, light lotus, he once again steadied his stance, holding his dual-handed greatsword, he made a sweeping motion, squeezing out the last remnants of his sacrificial state's power, he could clearly see, the horrifying crimson golden flames suddenly erupted, two massive beams of light swept forth, at least over thirty demons were reduced to ashes under this strike, instantly vanishing. Long Houchen's body swayed, in the next instant after. Releasing this attack, his gaze had already turned towards the top of the carriage, he had already given his all, unleashing his entire strength, defeating the crimson-blooded demon, and buying time for his companions and Yue Whether Yue could complete that magic, was no longer something he could decide, a black figure quietly leapt onto the top of the carriage, a touch of dark golden light rising in this bloodthirsty darkness, intense killing intent, surged upwards like an overwhelming wave, even causing the descending golden goblin's body to pause, it was Chai Er. Chai Er clearly saw all of Long Houchen's efforts. She naturally understood why Long Houchen was doing this. When Long Houchen was knocked backward by the Golden Lightning Lance, the distance between him and the Golden Goblin exceeded 50 meters, and the Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace was interrupted, paying no attention to the ground, the weaponless Golden Goblin descended without hesitation from the sky, pouncing towards Yue on the carriage roof. Chai Er arrived on the carriage roof at this critical moment. King's Wrath Thrust. This was Chai Er's response to the Golden Goblin, in this. Moment, Chai Air was enveloped in a dim gray radiance, and an unparalleled killing intent erupted from within her body, like tangible killing intent, it struck the golden goblin immediately, greatly slowing its pouncing motion. The next moment, Chai Air had already collided fiercely with it, if someone's perception were sharp enough at this moment, they would clearly see the incredibly splendid assassin's combat techniques, being an assassin, Chai Air didn't possess the formidable defensive power of Long Houchen's divine protection block, what she had was unparalleled skill and terrifying attack power, her body leapt high into the air. King's Wrath Thrust clashed with the Golden Goblin's right claw, however. Chai Air's body became ethereal in an instant, she didn't try to block the Golden Goblin directly, the explosive force of King's Wrath Thrust dissipated the moment they made contact, and the next moment. The Golden Goblin tore apart the illusion, the shadow clone of Chai Air before it, the Chai Air who appeared behind the Golden Goblin, emitted a burst of a thousand beams of white light from her chest, heavily striking the Golden Goblin's back, at the same time, her body suddenly halted in midair, 
and it was clear to see, behind her, countless grey lights converged into a spiral shape towards a point, and that point was the dark golden dagger in her right hand, obviously, this was a skill akin to a knight's build-up, and to use it in midair. And to halt her body in midair without flight capability, was far from an ordinary technique, under normal circumstances, even if Chai Air used Shadow Clones and the Thousand Strike Spirit Furnace, facing a peak level 7th rank opponent like the Golden Goblin, it would be impossible to harm the enemy, however, the current situation didn't allow the Golden Goblin to engage with Chai Air. The Golden Goblin's perception was very keen, it was well aware that Yue's magic could be completed. At any moment, even if it was injured, it must first prevent Yue, therefore, even though it knew Chai Air was behind it, it didn't pay her any heed, it forcibly bore the attack from Thousand Strike Spirit Furnace on its back. It must be said that the Golden Goblin's body was incredibly robust, even ordinary 8th rank magical beasts couldn't compare, even with the sharp attack power of Thousand Strike Spirit Furnace, it only brought forth streaks of blue blood light on its back, unable to truly inflict fatal damage, Chai Air leaped to a height of 7 meters, and after she switched positions with the Golden Goblin, the distance between the Golden Goblin and Yue below was only 5 meters, in just the blink of an eye, it could strike Yue, the Golden Goblin's claws had already reached out, and it was about to, its attack was about to hit Yue, right at this moment, that white light which had stopped him appeared once again. Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace, what is synergy, true synergy often emerges in life and death situations, isn't that exactly the case before us?